Can a democracy truly be free if it inhibits religious freedom? This is a question that has been brought to the forefront with the ongoing developments in Ukraine. It was in the summer of 2022 when the local council in Lviv, Ukraine, voted to ban the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, a church that once held the title of being the official representative of Orthodox Christianity in the country. The ban, seen by many as a political move, stirred a wave of controversy as it challenged the very principles of religious freedom. Later, in the winter of the same year, Ukraine's top security officials imposed punitive measures against seven senior clerics of a branch of the Orthodox Church with ties to Moscow. Accusations of sympathy for Russia's portrayal of its invasion of Ukraine led to these clerics having their assets seized and facing bans on economic and legal activities. It was a significant blow to religious expression in the country. Adding to the tension, Ukraine's chief intelligence agency, the Security Service of Ukraine, announced that they had seized propaganda from Russian Orthodox churches in the formerly occupied eastern parts of the country. The agency claimed to have found Russian passports, flags and a collection of stolen icons, indicating collaboration between Russian Orthodox priests and the Russian government. The president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, accused the Russian Orthodox Church of trying to weaken Ukraine from within. But what does this mean for religious freedom in a democratic society? This series of events in Ukraine presents a stark reminder of the importance of religious freedom. A democratic society thrives on the principles of freedom, equality and respect for all individuals regardless of their religious beliefs. When we witness instances of religious persecution, it becomes our responsibility to voice our opposition and stand in solidarity with those affected. The banning of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church and the subsequent actions taken against its clerics represents a clear violation of these principles. It serves as a stark reminder that religious freedom is not a given, even in democratic societies. Therefore, it is imperative for us to stand against religious persecution. Upholding the principles of religious freedom should be of utmost importance in a democratic society. It is not just about protecting the rights of a particular religious group, but about preserving the very essence of democracy. We must raise our voices, spark conversations, and take action to ensure that religious freedom is respected and upheld. For without religious freedom, can a democracy truly be free?